Hi everyone, my name is Suki Gulati Gilbert and I'm the product manager working on Permission Slip, an app by Consumer Reports intended to make it easier for consumers to exercise the data rights that we're talking about here today. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about how Consumer Reports came up with this idea and the story behind it, where we are now, and where we're going next. I'm sure many in this room are familiar with the CCPA, the California Consumer Privacy Act, which went into effect in January of 2020 and created a new class of data rights for California constituents. Three important rights to note. First, the right to know what data a company is collecting on you. Second, a right to ask that company to delete that data. And third, a right to ask that company to no longer sell or share that data to third parties. Uh, while it's phenomenal that these rights exist, Consumer Reports ran a usability study and found that these rights are extremely hard to exercise. On 42.5% of sites, so almost half, at least one out of three testers could not locate the link to opt out of the sale of their data. And these are people who know about these rights to begin with, want to exercise them, are looking really hard for those links and still can't find them on their site. So you can imagine that the process of actually getting your data deleted from all the different companies who have it or the process of getting your data to no longer be sold is really onerous. These are not just you know, companies like social media companies, but Taco Bell, McDonald's, um, Walmart, all the places that you frequent have a lot of data. But the CCPA also included a pretty cool provision around authorized agents. Um, where you can entrust someone else to enact these data rights on your behalf. And so you could imagine, you know, doing this for a parent. But Consumer Reports also saw this as a tool of really great uh, consumer empowerment, and we decided that we would go ahead and try to build an agent. So that's what Permission Slip is. You can download Permission Slip right now if you want <laughs> on the App Store, the Google Play Store, and this is what you'll see. Uh, so when you go, the first thing that happens when you click on a company card is that we've summarized the privacy policy for you, broken it down into categories and exactly what types of data the company is collecting on you. So you can see here, for example, this is our summary of Netflix's privacy policy, collecting identifiers when you create an account, financial information, your payment info, various forms of online tracking mentioned in the privacy policy. So right there, you can go to one place to learn what types of data companies are collecting. And we take it a step further with that authorized agent piece. So for the majority of companies that we have supported on the application, if you give us the ability to be your authorized agent, then we can handle the request from you end to end. So you can see on the left here a screen where you can send a request to no longer have your data sold or to delete your account with them. Once you hit that button, everything is in the app, you don't leave, and we handle it for you on the back end. For the companies whose processes aren't really compatible with ours, and we can't do that quite yet, although we're working on it, we've extracted the links pretty cleanly from the privacy policies or their websites and surfaced them on that screen that you can see to the right so that you can pretty easily, just with one click from the app, go in ahead and submit your data rights request to opt out of the sale of your data or delete it. Um, so one thing I know that we've talked a lot about today is consumers and users and how much do they really care about this and how much are they engaging with it and I come bearing good news. Um, we are growing a lot and consumers are engaging with it a lot. Um, we had a really, really big launch in October of 2023. Uh, we grew to support around 300 companies in the app. That number also includes tens of data brokers. This is where I think we're providing the most impact because uh, there is at least some mental model to understand that you know, a consumer-facing company might have your data, but who data brokers are and whether they have a profile on you is far more opaque. Uh, and so if you sign up for automated requests within the app, then in the background every month we'll be sending opt-out requests to more and more data brokers as we onboard their information and the compatibility to send those requests. And within moments or weeks of the launch, we had initiated one million data rights requests. And when I checked this morning, it's actually much closer to 2 million. We're at like 1.94 million requests uh, initiated, which is a lot. And we're really excited about it because it signals that uh, people do want to enact on these rights. People are interested in managing their data privacy online. And the tools just don't exist for them to do so easily and effectively. So where are we going next? 
Um, most importantly, we want to continue to improve the user experience of the application. So as you can see, we've initiated a lot of data, data rights requests, but on our end, the process to actually see those through is still really manual because of the way that compliance programs are developed at companies. So we're hoping that we can um, get more manpower, try to do more of these requests for consumers end to end but also find ways to scale sustainably. So we have some automation on our end that we're investing in, and we also have a team adjacent to Permission Slip working on the data rights protocol. So Permission Slip is not the only authorized agent in the market. Um, there's also some other piece of technology like Incogni and mine. I have to plug Permission Slip here that we are the nonprofit one run by Consumer Reports <laughs> with a really long history of putting consumer interests first. But um, we're also working in partners with the in partnership with the other authorized agents on a standardized protocol for these data rights requests so that we can send them programmatically and get the responses programmatically and send lots more of these requests at scale, which would make it even easier. Um, for the user to get a feedback flow where they're more quickly seeing a response. Right now, because the process is so fragmented and manual, one pain point for users is that they'll send a request and they won't necessarily see the value come out of that request for a little while, which can be frustrating when you're trying to act on your privacy. Um, and as I mentioned, because Permission Slip is an authorized agent uh, sitting in Consumer Reports, a nonprofit with a long history of advocating for consumer safety, whether it comes to getting chemicals out of food or making cars safer, we also have an advocacy arm that we work with within the organization to try to push for next generation privacy legislation. We want to see more of it. We want to see more authorized agent provisions because we think it makes it easier for consumers to enact these rights. And we also are doing work behind the scenes to encourage company compliance. So. Uh, we don't always have the jurisdiction, for example, to uh, enforce compliance on these requests because anyone in the U.S. can download the app, but the legal backing is really uh, primarily developed in California, and now Colorado has a piece of privacy legislation with authorized agent provisions. Um, because of that, some companies will comply with requests across the United States, but many will not, and users get an out-of-jurisdiction notice. Um, none of that goes to waste. We are hoping that by sending lots of requests to companies, it's still creates a market incentive for them to invest in these programs that otherwise does not exist just by the legislation existing in one state. And also, it's you know sometimes work uh, for companies to distinguish between a California user and a non-California user, and they will just comply with the request anyway, which is a great end result for that consumer. Um, so thanks for listening. Uh, would love if you download the app, give us any feedback. We're a small team working hard on it. And so we love connecting with people interested in these ideas and trying to make the app better every day. And I'll be around and happy to talk to anyone. Thank you.